gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And it's been a while. Hello, glorious roadside train bridge villain way that I have never fished before. How the hell are you today? My name is Josh, and I'm here to violate you with the help of my friends, Winter Killed Chad, Nightcrawlers, Jerkbait, other lures. And um, yeah, I've never fished this spot before. It is, uh, it is a spot that my buddy, the man, the myth, the legend, Colton Fishes has fished a decent amount. He's caught some very large fish here, usually in the summer. Um, there's flatheads here, and uh, he's caught some big ones, but uh, we're not expecting a flathead today. We're just hoping to get something to make old Colton boy proud. Stuffing things, puff, pal. Man, isn't it nice when you pull up to a spot on a spring day that feels more like winter and it smells like greasy old fish. Most people wouldn't appreciate that, but when you're here to catch fish and you walk up to a place and it smells like fish, it's a good thing. I haven't walked up to a place and smelled fish for a while because it's been winter, everything's been frozen, but I'm back. First spillway session of the year. I, uh, it was like 16 degrees this morning, so I decided to make a longer drive today because it was gonna take a while to warm up anyway. So uh, yeah, we got here at the crack of 11 o'clock and the crack of my voice, 31, that's embarrassing. But uh, yeah, we made the drive here to uh, give it a whirl and we're just gonna see if we can catch anything. I feel like I was going somewhere else with that, but my brain farted, my voice cracked, and I lost it. But yeah, we're just gonna see if we can catch some fish. Going for anything and everything, but uh, yeah. Obviously there's species that are higher on the list of the want list, but if it pulls, we want it. But bow. No, righty, righty, righty. I'll link Colton's channel down below. Shout out to him for uh, giving me the idea to come and try here. And yeah, I have a jerkbait tied. Ah, that bit, bit. Got too excited. I'm gonna try the jerkbait though. I'd assume there's probably walleyes around here somewhere. But first goes out the winter kill shad. Two ounce weight, very deep, still falling. Might get snagged, but I finally added to my catfish arsenal for the years, so I got plenty of everything. Maybe if I like do terrible, I'll watch one of Colton's videos and see where he was casting and steal his spots. But for now, we're just gonna kind of wing it. Very deep though, I will tell you that. And pretty gosh darn currenty, I will also tell you that. And it also looks very, very snaggy. I will also tell you that. Eventually we might have to go try down in the shallower, calmer water. Um, this time of year when the water is cold, I've noticed that sometimes that can be a little bit better, especially on sunny days, so. Yeah, the moving water doesn't have a chance to warm up as much as the slacker in the sun water. So I don't think the jerk bait's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. And we got blade baits and swim baits, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go from there. I'm not gonna ramble too much to start, even though I already kind of had, have had. You get the point. Oh, be careful on the rocks. Duly noted. Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna ramble too much more until we get a bite. Or I'll update you in a couple hours when we haven't got a bite. And stuff. Oh. Chad's getting bamboozled again. Or it was anyway. Yeah, it's getting bamboozled. There might just be smaller fish though. I don't know. Got him. Got him that. Oh no! That thing felt decent. No. No. New piece of Chad. Looks still sharp. Same little small one I was using for blues that was actually doing pretty well. I mean, that had some weight to it. That wasn't like a 12 incher. I mean, it wasn't no giant, but I bet it was five pounds plus. If I had to guess. All right, back out. I'm gonna adjust my nightcrawler pole and then I'll let you know when I like really catch a fish. Saw that coming. Oh no. Oh no, it's all right. Got plenty of hooks. I'm gonna stick with night crawlers for a little bit, but eventually I'll put a bigger hook on this and a smaller piece of shad. Sometimes just a smaller hook and a smaller bait just helps you hook like the two to five pound fish better than a five-aught circle hook, so. Downsizing might be the play eventually, but 
The best bait to figure out what lives in a place is a night crawler, so I'm gonna leave it out for at least a while just to see what kind of species we can rack up. That snag was like towards the surface. I'm gonna have to watch out for that. It must've been like a tree or something. Duly noted tree. I won't cast by you. Mm. All righty, we moved down a little bit. Ever since we caught that walleye, not much has happened. We uh, missed a couple more fish on Chad, which isn't surprising. I'm not sure what my deal was. Couldn't hook him to save my life. I blame the current. And myself getting a little bit too antsy, but. Moved down under the bridge, got away from the current, sun's out. You'd think the uh, slower moving water, shallower water would warm up faster. So maybe these fish uh, moved kind of down here. So we are back on the anything and everything routine. Got a 1 8 ounce jig head, night crawler, Carolina rig night crawler on the bottom. I got an instant snag, but that's all right. It's all right. We'll either get it out or we won't. Put another one on. Try again. I have to watch out for this area right here. Snaggy. Snaggy. Which hopefully means fishy. Right on the post. Instantly got something. Kind of acting walleye. Eh, maybe not. I don't know what it's acting. Yep. Nope. Yep. <laughs> that went from a walleye to a channel. 90. Damn, that dude flared up. The one blade bait walleye was uh, down here by the bridge, and second cast with the jig head crawler, we caught uh, the younger brother. It hasn't been lights out by any means, but little walleyes are pretty neat, and we had some opportunities for bigger fish. We just screwed them up, but luckily we have a lot of time. I was hoping to fish a few spots today, though, but if we have to, uh, spend the whole day here trying to catch something then i guess that's just uh what we'll have to do i think the potential is here even with the cold water and the ice on the reeds still but uh yeah it's warming up a little bit ditched my bibbies so we're more comfortable and hopefully the fish are getting more comfortable as the water warms we can only hope and stuff We got another one right on the pole. Better something. Next cast, I didn't make it quite far enough. Ah, gold eye. Nice. My chad's been falling apart. We'll take it. We get another bite too. Thought it looked like a little bit better walleye, but I was wrong. I think damn near hit it right when it hit the water. You don't know what a gold eye is. People often call them skipjacks, which is wrong. Skipjack is a completely different fish, but they got teeth. They kind of smell like chad, but they got scales and they actually fight pretty hard and bite pretty hard. Kind of like a moon eye, but there's minor differences. I forget exactly what they are, but yeah. Let's throw some moon eye out for bait. I'd kind of given up on channels because I kept screwing it up and they stopped biting. But if we got some fresh oily bait, then we might as well. We might as well. All right. Catfish pulls out. Back to the 1 8 ounce jig head crawler and see if we can hit the post again. Made a cast or two without hitting the post. Like that one, it didn't get bit, but it seemed like when I get right on the post, two for two when I hit it, might be onto something. Nothing major, but might be onto something. But hopefully it's something major. Or hopefully it results in something major and stuff. Oh, that was definitely a wall. I actually felt that bite. Oh, now I ran into this. Piss. Piss, piss, piss. I'm taking this one out. <clears throat> it's just in the way and the jig head's working well enough. Gold eye, you getting hit yet? No? Hey, this one has a fish. Kind of a micro pecker fish fest, but we sure are catching a lot more down here. So now we just need to catch something big out here. Down here, out here, I guess either works. All right, new night crawl on the jig head and we'll get back to casting this. Leave the Carolina rig out for now. 
and then go from there. Ah, yeah, screw it, this will work. I've seen better, but I've seen worse. Mm. Hammered. What are you this time? Ooh, new species. Sauger. So, two walleyes and a sauger. Sogai. It's got the white, I think. Not quite a keeper, but... I, mean, I haven't caught walleyes for a long time and... Don't get to very often, so... I'll even take the tiny ones. As pathetic and desperate as that might sound. It's Twoo. It is Twoo. Got one on the swim bait. Keeper? Or just a small one with a big appetite? <clears throat> Where's your mama? Where's granny, little bud? Where's granny? He hammered it. Four inch bait. Six inch walleye. Sick. He thumped it though. He thumped it though. We'll weed through them, see if there's a big one in there, I suppose. Figured out something that's working, and it's working almost every cast. Mainly the jig head night crawler, but... Spot that's going well, and lure presentation that's going well, even though the size isn't necessarily the best. If you're getting bit, your next bite could be something big, so... Keep her going. Got nicer out, and we're catching fish, so... No complaints from me. I thought I felt something. You can really tell though. Switch back to the jig head night crawler so it could be anything. Feels a hair better, but not really. Ah, a little better. He might even be a keeper. I don't know. I have to look up the regulations, but it's not a bad little sauger. Saw guy. White tip. Man, he hammered it. I could probably eat him if I wanted to. Catch another decent one like that. I'll look up the regulations on saw guys. I mean, he wouldn't make much, but I don't have any fresh fish in the freezer, and we're not catching monsters, so I might as well, like, I don't know, accomplish something besides catching tiny fish today, you know? Yeah, we'll see. I do have a bucket in my truck to put him in just in case. Make a couple more casts, and then we'll, uh, look up some regulations and stuff I think coming to this side of the bridge is the right play getting a better angle with the current and getting less snags and if you're curious about the catfish pull it's still not doing shit hey here's a catfish Really wish we would have caught those bites on Chad's earlier, because some of them seem pretty decent, but... Can't take it back. Later, Skippy. Throwing ahead of the pole now. Letting it drift into the pole. Smart, huh? I'm a thinker. My daddy always told me I was a thinker. Actually, he didn't. Yeah, maybe he did a couple times. Neither here nor there. Another one. What is use? What is use? Oh no, where'd my saw guys go? Did you eat my saw guys? I doubt it. Like the bed or something. Get out of there. Damn near every gas, boys and girls. Little soggy, bud. 
All right, I'm gonna get out the phone and a measuring device. If I can get some little fish sticks for boo for dinner tonight, I'm gonna. That's like 10 walleye saw guys though, which is pretty good for me. Pretty stoked about it. There you go, little buddy. Let's see if we can get some more. I'm not gonna bleed them out yet until, I just want one more, you know? But you know, it shouldn't be hard to do if it's any size. But I feel like the second I start keeping fish is the second I stop catching fish. So we'll see if it's a curse this time. We will see. Hmm. Popped it and got smoked. <clears throat> He's a little too small. Surprisingly though, that other one is 15 inches. I would guess like 10. Let's see if we can do better than that. But eventually we might have to keep one of those too. channel don't be a channel I don't think it's a channel nice got my other butter friend got my other butter friend just thinking about giving up for a while there it was literally every cast but they kind of stopped got one on a stringer over there not sure what I all left in on that but had to ask old uh, RD for some for what the regulations were and I was able to keep the last one, and I'll be able to keep this one. I'm gonna put them up in the grass for a second. And eventually we're gonna bleed these boogers out. Take some fish home to boo, but yeah, it's kind of slowed down, but it was pretty good there for a little bit. I gotta bite every cast for like 30 casts, and if you can figure out how to do that in a river like this, especially this time of year, then I'd say you're doing pretty good. One eighth ounce jig head, piece of crawler, and just letting the current beat it up has been the ticket today. And yeah, I don't know. I'm ending this video. We uh, didn't really catch anything big. The plan was to catch something big, but uh, I don't know. Numbers are fun too, especially when you haven't caught anything for a good long while besides stalker trout. But uh, yeah, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Back to the old spilling ways. We're gonna bounce around at a few today and uh, maybe tomorrow before it gets cold once again and might snow. I know, it's bogus, but it's part of life, part of Nebraska. I'm used to it. I've lived here my whole life, so it's nothing new. Appreciate you watching. See you later. Stuff and things. Bye. Goodbye.